Hello YouTube, this is Joe from Team Death Meta um, giving you another deck list. Um, this is a deck that I used at my locals last week. Um, uh, I call it Photonic Crystals. It is a mix of um, it's a it's a crystal deck, crystal beast deck, um, but implements photons. Um, to help speed it up and speed the exceed summons because this is an exceeds based deck it's got like one tuner in it with Gale the Whirlwind um, because it's a it's a good tuner I like Gale the Whirlwind you know it helps out with its effect and it can do some good synchros um, but that's the only tuner in this deck um, everything else is just crystals and some other cards to help other monsters help speed and lock down opponent decks um, so I tried it out it got me two out of five wins, which is not bad for its first debut. Um, so this is the updated version. Um, I it's basically the same, just a few little extra bits and bobs just to help speed it and um, tr basically make it a bit better. So um, I'm showing it off to you. Uh, obviously, for crystals, we have three sapphire Pegasus. You can't have a crystal deck without three sapphire Pegasus. It's the main crystal. It fo it um, speeds the deck by searching other crystals. Um, 1800 beat stick, and it's really good for commas for exceed summoning. Then you've got three topaz, which is uh, probably the best in attack for crystal beast, where it gains 400 to 2k when it attacks. So technically, in the battle, the topaz beats uh, Pegasus. So I got three of him. Good level four. Next we got two Ruby Carmichael, one's too slow, um, three's too many, two's just perfect. Um, uh, probably the third best Crystal Beast um, for its ability to special summon from the spell and trap card zones when you special summon him. So combo with other cards you can get out a powerful exceed in just one turn. Uh, next we have two tur Emerald Turtles. This is the last of the Crystal Beast because Emerald Turtle brings out options which I prefer over Amber Mammoth. Um, because with them, with him I can get out Black Grey Lancer who is extremely helpful in tight situations. So I got, and it's a 2k defense so um, it's a good, it's a good one. Next we have two Summoner Monks. Um, Two's good. I tried one, but one's a bit too slow because there was moments where I needed a summon a monk to do a big XC summon, and I didn't just didn't draw it. So two works out pretty well. Um, you got a lot of spells in this deck, and at moments you will have a spell in your hand that you don't really need at the right moment, at that moment. So you can just discard it for monk to get an XCs out. So I got two monks and three photon flashes. Uh, this is the photon part of the deck other than the Xyz and the side deck. Um, great, great monster, 2100, level 4, you can just special summon it from your hand straight away if you control no monsters. So it puts people off guard at times. So, um, and it's perfect for Xyz summoning. So I got three photon flashes. Then as I said before, one girl of the whirlwind for a Juno monster and its effect. And one Thunder King Ryo for lock. Uh, moving on to the spells, we have two crystal beacons. Um, the bet probably the best spell in this deck for smart summoning purposes. Uh, if you've got two crystal beacons in the chat card zone, you can just special you can use this as special summon one from your deck. Most of the times, it's just either Pegasus or Ruby, because Ruby for its effect and Pegasus basically for his effect. Oh, sorry about that, everybody. Uh, Timed out there. Oh, this is quite embarrassing. <laughs> uh, let me just quickly refresh this. Oh, sorry about that, everybody. Um, so yeah, uh, just continue. You got uh, obviously the two big, yeah, two beacons. So yeah, that's its purpose. <laughs> uh, one crystal promise. Uh, two is too many, one is just that good, one's just fine. It's like a monster reborn for Crystal Beasts in a way. 
uh, just special summon one from your spell and trap card zone. Um, so most of the times it's you pick Ruby and you just go into your con your complete crystal swarm. So uh, two blessings. Blessing helps out with another card, which I'll get to next. Um, and you you can combo blessing with Ruby and Promise if you want. Uh, put Ruby and a Pegasus in your spell and track card zone. Use using blessing then use promise to get the ruby to then get your pegasus and you can do a lot quite a few stuff um two rainbow ruins this i was thinking that i needed this before and then when i went to the tournament i didn't use this and i just as fast as this deck is if you don't get your exceeds out you're going to be taking quite a lot of damage so you use this ruins for speed for draw power if you got four um, in your spell and track card zone if you got two you can half damage so that half damage is pretty helpful plus it's a discard for monk so it I put in the ruins and I tried it out and it's pretty good uh, three polarities because you need the speed in this deck and drowty does that pretty well one reborn staple, two MSTs because it's good and they're quite staples. You know, heavy storm is bit silly, and uh, dark hole. That's not spells. Then you got traps. You got mirror force, which is quite a good staple. Um, I didn't use mirror force at the tournament because lately I just haven't been thinking I need mirror force, so I put the mirror force in, and yeah it's pretty good um, two terrains because two terrains th there's moments where you're not going to have anything other than just like a crystal beast which will just go in your sponge track card zone for your next combo so terrains good um, compulsory evac for those pesky synchros and exceeds that you can't really get rid of that easily one road because road's good and your spell track card zone is going to be having a lot and your monster zone is going to have a lot at the time so you need your road. One bribe because one bribe's good. One some judgment because it just negates everything. And one warning for those like um light for yeah the, those annoying monsters like BLS and stuff. Uh, extra deck you got one shark Drake because I love shark Drake and he's kind of like the star in this deck. So you can do shark Drake quite easily. So you got him, two photon pepper operatives because that's like the other part of the photonic part of this deck. Uh, good monster, people should not, not look over this guy because he's actually pretty good and he's helped me out a lot. Uh, one black ray launcher which I mentioned before, good cards and the gate effects. One blade arm and ninja because you can still do it so I leave him in there. One Leviathan and one Stringed Engine as your rank 3s. Um, they're pretty good, as obviously Black Ray Lancers are rank 3. Um, they're pretty good. Leviathan's like a 2 5 permanent, basically, and a Stringed Engine's a 3k if you attack. Three Hopes, because for your defense, and Hopes kind of sometimes the, the main rank 4 you're going to be playing, other than Shark Drake and Pappy. And two Gem Knight Pearls as a 2 6 beater. Uh, synchro, you've got one black wing armed wing and one black wing armor master as your synchro choices most of the times. Uh, they're pretty, obviously, everyone knows armor master is amazing, still is, still is amazing, puts people off guard. And armed wing is just good for those piercing attacks. And then you've got stardust for the road. Uh, just click on something so it doesn't uh, go out again. Uh, side deck, you got Thunder King Wire. This this is my personal tech choices to fend off against uh, decks nowadays. So let me just get the camera away. As you can tell, I'm holding the camera. <laughs> um, yeah, you got the second Thunder King Wire. You got the two King Tiger Rangus because of um, insectors and stuff. Two Jinzos. Um, this is my anti-trap deck choice because um, I faced the kind of final countdown at my tournament, and it just showed me that 
we're in a dex heavy trap base I don't really have much to stop it so I've got two Jinzos because the way that this deck can swarm is pretty amazing so two Jinzos is just fine you can easily tribute for a Jinzo and just lock them down and it also does brilliantly against chain burns because they use their traps a lot three photon saber tigers and two photon lizards as the room um, others for photons they're kind of like the other ones you need as much as I love Crusher um, you don't kind of need them in this deck so yeah I, I've just got these two rare values because strangely enough this deck is fast without it but I got it in there in case I need a bit more speed could probably swap out one ruins for a rare value one imperial imperial iron wall to fight off against chaos dragons and stuff anything else that is remove heavy and two mask of restricts to face fend off against um, frog monarchs because strangely enough I just faced off one against on dueling network and it just wrecked me so I put I'm signing in mask of restrict now because and also with heretics um, coming up and slowly appearing this card just wrecks them for you they just can't tribute any monsters under any conditions so they can't do it so they can't get their effects so their deck is dead and this also helps up against chaos dragons because they can't tribute to special summon ca um, red eyes darkness metal so it's pretty good um, so yeah that's the deck people so that it throws out for a minute um, hope you enjoyed it um, and I won't be I, I'll stop chatting um, so yeah again hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time um, so yeah see ya